gazebo. So glad you came back. Today, we're gonna draw a parrot. This is our parrot right here, pencil and watercolor. What you'll need for today is a paintbrush with a nice point, watercolors, a marker, a paper towel or a rag, and a cup of water. All right, shall we get started? I'm gonna move him out of the way so that we can get started right now. Okay, I've got my pencil and I'm going to draw a circle first for his head. All right, let's do it up. Let's do it right here. Here we go. Circle for the head. Now, have you noticed? There's shapes in everything and shapes that we recognize too. Go around the house, look at different art your parents have on the wall, and try to pick out the shapes that the artist used. Obviously, that's a circle. Now we're gonna do kind of a leaf shape, isn't it? That's gonna be his wing. And then for his body, it's gonna be an oval, but guess what? The oval's gonna hide behind the wing, so we can't finish it. That's okay. Then, Right here, we're gonna come down and do a triangle. But instead of closing it this way, we're gonna go like that, make another triangle, okay? All right, let's do his beak. The beak is right here, and we're gonna draw a big half circle, and then come back kind of curving up. Do you see that it's curving instead of straight? Then down here, a little line and the little air hole they have on their beak <laughs> all right we need an eye so it's another circle and we're gonna make him really funny looking exaggerated because he's a cartoon he's not supposed to look like a real bird big old eye and then we're gonna draw a big old eyelid he's kind of a sleepy bird then down here what's this a half circle what's this another half circle inside okay let's make his claws all right i call them three little hot dogs one little hot dog two three then his other foot two three right okay we have all the basics for our parrot you can do something funny on his head if you want to what if he's this kind of parrot that has this kind of thing up there I like that, that's kind of fun. <laughs> All right, shall we paint this guy? Oh, I know what we forgot. He's gotta stand on something. Let's draw a tree with a little branch coming out. And this tree goes straight across here. So we're gonna, and across the tail. The tail's gonna be kind of behind the tree. And a branch, okay. And later we can put some flowers here if you want growing off the tree make some little branches for them to come off of. Okay, I think we've got a start of a really good parrot. So let's get our paintbrush, make sure it's clean, use our paper towel to dab off some of the extra. And I'm gonna make his head blue or turquoise. So here I am, I've got a lot of turquoise on my brush. I don't know if you can see that that well. You know what turquoise is though, it's a blue green. It's a really pretty, pretty color. It's probably one of my favorite colors to paint with. Okay, there we go. I'm liking that. I am liking that. Okay. Anything else that I want turquoise, I might as well use it now while my brush is dirty. And there he is. I think I want his tail to be turquoise. And remember, it's behind the branch, so I'm not gonna paint that part that part is gonna be painted brown. Okay. Nice. Now I have to really, 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 really clean that brush because it's got a dark turquoise on it. And I'm gonna go into probably a lighter color. I think I want orange. I know I want orange on his chest. And 
I'm not going to get too close to that blue yet because I don't want it to get into my orange and make it kind of muddy looking. All right. How easy is this to make a parrot? Just something fun, right? Now I can go in there and touch that up. And if a little white is left, that's okay. All right, I'm going to clean my brush and I want to go after a bright green. So let me get in this green and a little bit of the yellow to make it even brighter. You know, you can always mix your colors. Okay, here we go. Oh, I like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm staying in the lines, just like if you had a coloring book. You'd have to stay in the lines, right? So you made your own lines with this, using a pencil and drawing your parrot first. Okay. I like where this is going. I think, what color do I want his eyelids? How about, ooh, how about a red eyelid? Why not? It's our parrot. We can do anything we want, huh? There it is. I like to outline things first sometimes. And then color it in. Oh, I like that. Um, let's make a yellow for under here. And let's be careful not to touch that white. We want that white to show. Now, his beak, we can make brown, gold. I have kind of a uh, gold here that's kind of fun. I think I'll use that. See, it's kind of, it's yellow, but it's a little deeper. And then this part, make a, even maybe a little darker, huh? You know what? We can still use this color little claws. All right, what's left? The tree. Let's use a dark brown and we'll get in here. This should cover all the stuff we want to cover, see? Yeah, and these little branches. Oh yeah. Just, we're having fun with it. And when we're done, we can erase any pencil that shows through if you don't like it. And what color should we make? Should we make these purple? That might be fun. And obviously they're very skinny to paint, but that's all right because we can be very careful. Oh yeah. <laughs> the very fancy bird. Very fancy. I'm gonna give it a little more right here. Okay, now. Let's get that marker and make his eye black in here. Now you've got a nice white line around that. I think all that's left now is some blossoms. What about pink blossoms? Let's do that. I think I have some pink here. I do. If you don't have pink, you could put a little bit of white in your red. Now, with blossoms, all you need to do is go dot, 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 dot. Kind of nice, huh? A little more red, a little pink. And it gives the effect, see? I'm liking it. Now, if you want, and your paint's dry, you can outline everything in black. But you don't have to. This is just another way to do it. Okay? So that's kind of fun. It kind of makes it pop off the page, doesn't it? If you want to draw little feathers in here, you can. Just lightly. They're like little V's, aren't they? As many or as few as you want. Maybe make something like that. And across here to really make the eye pop out. Anyway, that's what you can do. Hey, I would love it if when I'm done here and you're finished watching the video, that you go get a pad and pencil and paintbrush and make some parrots of your own. I've really enjoyed having you here today. Thank you for coming to Art in the Gazebo. This is Patty Curtis, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys, see you another day.